here with a brand new guest on our show today. It is uh, Rick like Zucker, Booker. like Zucker, like Booker, Booker, Booker Dano. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Wow, like that could be a Hawaiian shirt, kind of yes. bowling. Hawaiian. Yeah, it's bowling, uh, heavy metal. Skeletons, you're yeah. right up our alley. I figured yeah. this was appropriate. That's That's right. 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 Exactly. Absolutely. So, uh, where are you from? I am from Long Island, New York. From okay. Valley, Valley Stream. I'm in New York. So, do you have a lot of snow? Uh, well, I, I'm in Brooklyn now. Living. Uh, okay. Not too much. It's not not too in Brooklyn. Much. No, we're doing okay. Yeah, because Long Island is the place that got hit. Oh, yes. Do we, you have a lot of snow? We do. And I have a 70-foot driveway and a lot of shoveling to do. A 70-foot driveway? Yeah, that's right. Is it flat at least? It's flat. Okay, so it's not like steep or anything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. You, did you shovel your driveway? I do. I really? Shovel, I shoveled the driveway. All by yourself? Oh, uh, no, I have to get help. Okay. I, I need help. Don't we, we, all all we, all we all need some kind of help, exactly. So how do you guys know each other? I met Paul, uh, he's been subbing in the, the cover, rock cover band that I play in on the island called Generations. Another so way to make money. With, with Johnny. You know, all of you right. guys know how to make money, man. Yes. Yes. Your friend Johnny, Johnny Young. Oh, Johnny Young. Johnny is the Oh, that's his cover band he yes. tells me about. Yes, I'm the drummer in that, and Paul has been doing some shows with us recently, so that's so how wait, I met. do you both play keyboards? Like, what is Johnny can play anything, but... Yeah, I, no, no, when Johnny's not there. Yeah. Right? Oh, uh, so do you know Johnny? You, I only know him when I met him nine months ago on this show. On my show? On your and show. And you both knew him before that? No. I had Jamie. Well, I've been playing in the band for about two years. So. Wait, sweet. So, wait, who was in your band first? Johnny or... Johnny. Johnny, Johnny was so, in the band before I joined. So did you meet him through Johnny? No, I met Johnny through you, I, and I met him through... This is like who's on first. Yeah, it is who's on first. Wait, I'm curious because that's so cool, actually. Yes. So well, it would have happened anyway. It would have happened anyway because I met Rich yeah. at Dr. Bob's show that we're going to meet next. Okay. That's where I met him. That's was, right. And then, so he's the villain when Johnny can't play. Yes. Got it. Yeah. That's amazing. That's assuming we can all work it out. Right. As far as it's been working out. So far it's been working out really well. That's great. I yeah. love that. That's perfect. Yeah, There's nothing like a good gig ever. But this is all class. Sub or not sub. That's that's right. Right. Exactly. And it's a lot of fun. That's great. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, it's uh, great. Cool. Nice. So, and that's usually in Long Island. Yeah, mostly. And it's the weekends. Pretty much, That's yeah. Because yeah, I know Johnny plays in the cover band on the weekends. Yeah, Johnny has his original project uh, during the weekend. Giant Flying we're all, Turtle. That's right, we're all, so we're all busy running out. Yes, of and I have a song that I did with Johnny, too. Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's really cool. I wrote a song and went to Johnny to make a recording, because he does that, too. Yeah. And he played every single instrument and changed my chords, so now I don't <laughs> know my own song. But when I play it, I played it the Johnny version and he yells at me. Right. I know, exactly. <laughs> I played it the other, the easy, right. you know, version. He made it a little more, you know, fancy. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, he can do that for sure. Well, yeah. I did another album with him. Uh, the bass player from Generation Jamie. Johnny has this other album coming out soon that me, the three of us did. Uh, cool. And it's like real good, sludgy, hard rock and roll. Johnny and the Diablos, I think it's going to ah. be called. Imagine right. be coming out. Hopefully sometime in the next few So months. how old were you when you picked up your first drumsticks? Uh, I was eight. I practiced, <laughs> took lessons for about one month. Okay. And, uh, I wasn't prepared to practice at that point. Okay. But then I started again when I was 13. I was up at summer camp and I met uh, a, a, bunk, a fellow bunkmate of mine uh, said his father taught drum lessons in Rockville Center, which was close to me. And he went to Manhattan School of Music. He was more of a jazz kind of okay. guy. And, uh, I started taking lessons with him, yeah. Wow. wow. So, that's how that so do you have drummers that you look up to that... Oh, many. I'd say oh, most of my biggest hero is probably Buddy Rich. He okay. was my first. Why not? Um, yeah. And isn't very... your name Rich? It is my so, like, Do you think yeah. that that had any... Living there now. There you His go. first name was Bernard, and that was my grandfather's name. There you go. I believe in all that kind of stuff, too. I mean, too. I read so into it's everything. All... So it's all good. And then, but my parents took me to a lot of concerts, and I became really good friends with Max Roach. We used to see oh him. Oh, my gosh. We used to see him every He 
told me about the Jazz in July workshop at UMass at Amherst, and uh, I auditioned for that and got in, and I worked with him there for four years. Wow. Well, and I went to Manhattan School of Music. That's almost like a fairy godmother. Going, yeah. Boing. Yeah. It's been, wow. been a lot of really good, good stuff. For you. Good for you. So, um, what kind of drums do you use? Uh, all kinds. I tend to play small kits. I like a four, a nice four-piece kit. I like to work with less. It forces, I, I forces like, you to be more creative. I, 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 I totally agree with that. That's why I like my song with two chords instead of... That's right. Fourteen. That's right. <laughs> exactly. I like less is more, less too. Is more. I agree. So, um, are all the drum jokes true? Absolutely. Yeah? Oh, you yeah. know those drummy, drummer jokes. Yeah, but those you? jokes aren't funny. They're, but they're true. No, no, they're Rich, true. tell us a joke. Tell us a joke. Uh, let me see. Uh, hmm. You know why the ant was confused? Why? Because all of his uncles were ants. Bucket of fish. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh. <laughs> That's the perfect sound for that joke. Uh, there you go. You gotta forgive me. I'm a little tired today. Last night I dreamt I was working. Uh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh. <laughs> when, when was your last gig? Uh, when was my last gig? It was what day is it? Today? Today's Wednesday. Yeah, today's Wednesday. It was uh, it was Sunday, I believe. Okay. And where was that? <laughs> uh, every Sunday, I come to play a wonderful French restaurant in Brooklyn called Bar at the Back. Oh, where's that? Uh, it's at uh, the corner of Smith and Dean Street. So is that Park Slope? Uh, I think it's Borum Hill. Oh. All right. Yeah, but I'm there every Sunday uh, with a trio. We play from 12 to 3. The food is fantastic, and we play a lot of really good uh, classic, old, obscure so reggae like stuff. So, like Sunday and, brunch. Yeah. yeah. Wow, good for you. Yeah, it's really great. So, that's every Sunday. Every what Sunday. other standard gigs do you have? Uh, all the generation stuff. Uh, I have a steady, actually, right after this, I'm heading up to my regular Wednesday hit. In, and where's at, that? At Bronker's Tap House in Yonkers, New York. Bronker's? What is that, the border of Bronx and Yonkers? Yeah, that's what I had to, why they got named it that. Yeah. That's what I would think. Right. Because all the people, I mean, I was born in the Bronx, but um, it's because my grandparents and stuff the country but they were from the lower east side and they moved to the bronx because that was the country right and now bronkers is yeah. not the country at all no <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly i know yeah, but it's a very cool uh beer cap cool. house and, so where uh, is it exactly it's on mclean avenue the exact number okay house. that's okay yeah wow bronkers i like that. That's yeah, funny. It is. It's cool. It's that's a really, really cool funny. Spot. And yeah. we're doing a steady jazz thing here every Sunday. So that's that's right, every Wednesday. Wednesday. So you're there every Wednesday in Bronkers. Yeah. Every Sunday in Brooklyn. And mm -hmm. that, what's the name of that place? Uh, Bar Tabac. Tabac. T A B A C. Yeah, it's at 128 Smith Street. Now, what kind of food is that if they have to it's do with French. reggae? It's French. And we play a lot of, like, it's. Uh, we do a lot of classic reggae stuff and some like. Have you ever been to Jamaica? Country? No, I have not. Oh my gosh, you've got to go because they turn every song into reggae. Well, that's cool. They turn. <laughs> they would turn um, the the ants go marching into reggae. They would turn um, Dolly Parton into reggae. Oh, that's I mean, cool. every single song you ever hear turns into. It. Awesome. It's, it's great. You it's, can make any song into reggae. It works for anything. It, you hear it there it's too. Just the gym, Britney right? Spears. Right. No. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They do it. It's, That'd be cool. it's true. Every yeah. song turns reggae. It's great. I love it. Have you ever been to Jamaica? No, I haven't. Oh my God, book us there. Yeah, well, I, I do it. Come on, Paul. I want to start fucking me. I know. Exactly. I want to go to Europe. The Black Sea and all that. Yeah, what are you kidding? What's up? I have a passport. Well, exactly. We'll have to talk. That sounds good. Yeah, put us in your backpack. Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's bring us all. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I'm ready to go. Of course. Where's the furthest place you ever played? Ooh, uh, probably uh, Japan, I guess. Oh, okay. Lucky. Nice, nice. Yeah, Japan was very cool. I was there with Frank Vignola, the jazz guitarist, with him for many years, and we did a nice three-week tour over there. It was beautiful. Wow, when was that? Uh, probably 2006 or okay, seven. so not too long ago. Yeah. Wow. Did you learn any Japanese? No. I did not. Not hype? No, I just learned to, that I have to be Sign on time. Up. No. You're doing I already knew that. Okay. Don't okay. want to get those animals. I think about as far as I can. Sushi? Yeah. Exactly. Sushi. Oh, Saki. But I learned that I have to be right on time because they like that over there, which is they cool. They definitely like that. And it's a good quality. You should be anyway. Exactly. Right. I'm always on time to a fault, I think. Got to be. I always am. I, it's like, I, I 
I'm so never late. It's if it, if it is, it's weird. It's a good quality. Well, thank you. So when's your birthday? Uh, it's coming up on Monday, March second. Ah. It's coming up. On I, I just felt the birthday coming. Yeah. Up. Wow. So are you excited for it? Yeah, sure. So that's Monday. I'm glad I'm living this long. It's yeah, exactly. Right. What's the alternative? Exactly. Right, exactly. I know. I I feel the same. Good for you. So and so you have other any other um you. Have Wednesdays, Sundays, any other standard gigs? Uh, not studies at the moment. But, okay. You know, during the week, we're always there's other things oh, coming popping in. up all the time. Yeah, sure. Exactly. Things are always, are always popping. So today happens to be chocolate covered yeah. nut day. I heard this. Yes. So would you please take some chocolate covered nut? Well, thank you very you much. Can take one or a couple more, and um, we need to get a skeleton, not from your shirt, but from your closet. I don't think that happened. Oh, come on. I, I know you look like a real squeaky clean kind of guy. I am a squeaky clean kind of guy. Yeah, I'm sure. But I'm sure you did something at some point of your life. Oh, I've done lots of things. Yeah, like one little tidbit of naughtiness. Naughtiness? Yeah. I got arrested when I was 15. That would work. So what did you do? I was with some friends. We were drinking beer in the park. I had about three sips, and I was like, Wasted. this is not, no, this is oh. not for me. I don't like it. Oh. I'm not a drinker, I'm an eater. Okay. That's why I married a Sicilian. Oh, smart move. Oh, you better believe it. Wow, that. lasagna. Oh, uh, everything. Fake ziti. Everything. Oh, God. Ravioli. And lucky oh. you, you like it. I mean, I, mean, I love it. Beer yeah. was never my thing. I. It this wasn't because better. of the arrest or anything. Well, just, what happened, though? Like. Well, we were drinking in the park and uh, between the other two. Which park? Uh, this was Westwood Park in, in, Ma in Malvern, New York. Yeah. Oh, Mount Vernon. No, Ma Malvern, Mal oh. right next to Valley Street. Oh, okay. Yeah, in Long Island, and uh, uh, buy us a case of Schmitz, which okay. was like the good stuff. Yo, the real the good, really stuff. the real stuff. good stuff. Classy. And uh, you know, cops rolled up in the dark, and uh, they threw me and my bass player friend. Uh, we had a little band, my first band. And wow. Threw us in the back of the car and. Took me back to my house. We were, luckily, my parents weren't home, but they came uh -huh. home later, and they were not so happy. Oh, so they found out. Oh, sure. The next day, because we left our bicycles in the park, so the next day I had to go around with my father to all the police stations to try to find my bike. It was oh. not a good day. Oh, well, that's a good skeleton. Those days are long behind me. Yeah, did yeah. you ever drink beer again? No. Never? No, I don't like it. Wow. Give Three me a, Give me a chicken. I can say he's telling the truth. Oh, I believe so, him. I, I never contribute to the bar tab. No. Okay, so you need the, the food tab. Absolutely. Yeah. I like that. Well, you never give the, well what about Absolutely. on your Sunday brunches? Well, yes, there we do. There you there go. There. So, mm -hmm. and what about a Bonkers? Bronkers? No, but there's a guy who brings in pizzas every day. Okay. So that's nice. All right, but it's not as good as your wife's. No, no. She makes better pizza. She's a domestic goddess. Oh, the lucky best you. Cook I've ever. I've ever tasted it. So you, you like hit a hole in one. I did. Good. You make smart decisions, good things will happen. And this was one of the good ones. Oh. 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 Hear that, honey? You What's, her name? What's her name? What's her name? Her name is Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, Margaret. Exactly. Would you like to push a button? Oh, yeah. I've got to try this one. Do you have a website that you want people to stalk you at? Uh, just my Facebook page. They can find me at. Okay, and that's Rich Z Zucker. Zucker. Z -Z -O -R. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for visiting Thanks us. Thanks for having Come me. Come back anytime. My, my pleasure. To be All back. right. And say hi to Johnny if I don't see him. I first. certainly will. I'll All right. See him soon. Good. All right. We'll be back. Ruin who? With Paul. It's a lot of fun time and full of surprises.